Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about multiple or staggered pulse dictation frequencies. So, multiple or staggered pulse dictation frequencies, why we are using this concept due to blind speed. So, here first we should know what do you mean by blind speed. I have already explained in the previous lecture, previous video, what do you mean by blind speed and uh, where these blind speeds are being occurred. So, blind speeds occurs in blind speeds occur in empty air header. Blind speeds occur in empty air header. What do you mean by blind speed? Blind speed is nothing but Blind speed is nothing but moving target is identified as moving target is identified identified or you can call it as considered as stationary target when Doppler frequency is equal to integral multiples of pulse rotation frequencies. What do you mean by this? So Doppler frequency is equal to some non-zero value. Whenever a Doppler frequency is present and it is a non-zero value, then we can surely say that the, some target is there and it is in motion. Because Doppler frequency is because of the movement of the target. So whenever Doppler frequency is there, simply we can say some target is there and it is in motion. But as it is equal to integral multiples of pulse rotation frequency, the MTA response output is equal to 0 because the output of the subtractor is having a parameter like a sin pi fd. So whenever this sin value becomes pi 2, 2 pi 3 pi like this then definitely the sin 0 value becomes sin pi value sin n pi value becomes 0 okay so this leads to the output of empty radar becoming 0 without any second thought that means without any uh, consideration of the non zero component of ft so this leads to a problem that is called blind speed okay so remember this occurs only in empty radar so that is called blind speed. Now how to avoid the concept of blind speed? So using the MTA radar, can we avoid the concept of blind speed? Yes. That is by using multiple or staggered pulse rotation frequencies. So to avoid blind speed, we should go for, we should use multiple pulse repetition frequency so instead of using single frequency we are going for multiple frequencies then definitely this concept of blind speed can be avoided now for example for example consider a radar system Consider a radar system with, uh, sorry, consider two radar systems, consider two radar systems with two different pulse repetition frequencies, with two different pulse repetition frequencies, okay, what I am saying, consider two radar systems 1 and 2 it is having a separate transmitting antenna it is having a separate transmitting antenna here in the first case we are using a pulse repetition frequency like fp1 in the second case we are using a pulse repetition frequency fd2 okay now in this case what i am taking two different frequencies are being transmitted from two different radar systems Okay, 
now consider a target consider a target which is at a distance r now the frequency that is coming on to this target if it this target is in movement the resultant doppler frequency for this one is f d1 and when we are transmitting this f P2 to the same target and the resultant signal frequency is FD2. Okay, that means the Doppler frequencies are different for different pulse repetition frequencies when you are operating with two different frequencies. Hope you understood what I am speaking about. Even the target is same, even the target is same, I am not using two different targets here. I am using a single target. Even the target is same. When you are using two different pulse repetition frequencies, the Doppler frequency is also different. The Doppler frequency is also different. That means for FP1, for a different pulse repetition frequency, it gives a different pulse uh, Doppler component. And again, one more uh, pulse repetition frequency like FP2, it is producing a different uh, Doppler component F2. Now, our idea is instead of using two different radar systems, so why we are not using the same radar, why we cannot use the same radar system with uh, two different pulse repetition frequencies. Okay, that is the idea. So what we are doing in the multiple staggered pulse repetition frequency is we are using a single radar system. We are using a single radar system with two pulse repetition frequencies pulse repetition frequencies we are using a single radar system with two pulse repetition frequencies on time sharing basis. Okay, that means a single radar system, how it is able to produce two different pulse repetition frequencies, you may have a doubt that is based on the time sharing. Okay, so based on time sharing, one time it is transmitting FP1, again it waits for some time, again it is transmitting second pulse repetition frequency. Then the resultant uh, Doppler frequency component from the same moving target, it is with different pulse Doppler component. Then the Doppler component is different for two different PRFs. Okay, so what we are doing, we are transmitting two different frequency, pulse repetition frequencies like FP1 or you can take it as FP2. Then Doppler frequencies will also be FD1 and FD2. So FD1 is the Doppler frequency component corresponding to FP1 and FD2 is the Doppler frequency component corresponding to FP2. Okay, so how the waveforms are going to be generated and how to avoid the blind speed we will see diagrammatically, graphically. See here. This is the waveform with the pulse, the first pulse repetition frequency. This is the waveform related to first pulse repetition frequency or you can call it as 1 by T1. So because of the blind speed, what, what the blind speed states that blind speed occurs in the MTA radar when the Doppler frequency is equal to integral multiples of pulse repetition frequency. Doppler frequency is equal to integral multiples of pulse repetition frequency. That means 1 into FP, 2 into FP, 3 into FP, 4 into FP. Like that, it will be having zero response at every integral multiples of this um, pulse repetition frequency. So, we can write it as it is having zero response when 1 by T1. It is having zero response 2 by T1, 3 by T1, 4 by T1 and so on. Hope you understand. Because it is due to the blind speed occurs blind speed occurs when fd is equal to blind speed occurs when fd is equal to integral multiples of fp 
or you can write it as n by t f uh, n by t p 1 by t p 2 by p 3 by t p 4 by t p like this so at the occurrence of every 1 by t 1 2 by t 1 3 by t 1 in general n by t 1 it is having zero response similarly for the second it is for the second pulse repetition frequency so here also for n by t 2 nothing but 1 by t2, 3 by t2, 2 by t2, 4 by t2 and so on. For all such occurrences, the output response is equal to 0. That means what we have to understand here is, when we are taking the composite response of these two, the result will not be 0. Okay, the result will be 0 when these two meet together. What type of ratio we are taking? So, we are considering the relation between F1 and F2, nothing but transmitted signal pulse repetition frequency is sorry, in a ratio of 5 is to 4. Otherwise, we can say T1 by T D is equal to 4 by 5. Okay, at the occurrence of such a case, only we will be having this output is equal to 0 but every time it is not showing 0 sometimes uh, uh, maximum of the period maximum of the period it is out of 0 see here when you are get, uh, getting the um, composite response nothing but addition of these two see at this particular point The result due to second pulse repetition frequency is equal to 0, but the result from first pulse repetition frequency is not 0. And similarly, at this particular point, the result from first pulse repetition frequency is 0, but the second pulse repetition frequency is not having 0. When you are adding these two, this is a non-zero value and here is also non-zero value. Again, for this one, it is a non-zero. At this point, it is non-zero value. Again, at this point, it is non-zero value. But when the... Uh, multiple shagged pulse repetition frequency produces zero when the ratio is met okay so we are taking a ratio in this example we are taking the ratio between t1 and t2 as 4 by 5 okay so 4 cycles in t1 is equal to 5 cycles in t2 that is the meaning 4 cycles in t1 is equal to 5 cycles in t1 see here 4 how many cycles are there 1 2 3 4 4 cycles in first pulse repetition frequency T1 and in the second uh, time we are taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So how many cycles are there? 5 cycles. So in 5 cycles time period in the T2 it covers only 4 cycles in T1. If that is the ratio we have taken. This ratio is not fixed. We can take any type of ratio. But one thing you need to remember that at the occurrence of this ratio that means when these two meets together at that time only it produces 0 output. See here it is at this point it is 0. Again at this point it is 0. It is producing a blind speed like 0. Okay. At least the multiple staggered pulse repetition frequency gives a maximum time period for the FD is not equal to that means the component moving target identification is easy compared to normal single pulse repetition frequency uses. This is the way of use using a multiple staggered pulse repetition frequency. Thank you.